Hello, it's me again. Yes, I have glasses on. I apologize if there is any glare. I have a computer screen right in front of me. I just wanted to say a few words about the nature of this course again and about the materials that are, that are available for you. Um, this course, again, conceptuals course, excellent course as a preliminary course in the training of any sort of PLS software. Most of the materials for this course consist of the slides that you see me narrate during the video lessons and readings. There are quite a few readings, articles. Many have been authored by me, some have been authored by me, and some by others. You will find the materials at the beginning of each new section in the course if you click the View Resources button that turns up in the top right side of your video screen when you're playing the Udemy video lesson, then you'll see files, zip files, that appear on the right-hand margin that you may download and that contain all of the materials. Mostly slides and readings, although there are a few other materials. So. In the first video, for each new section, as you're watching that video lesson, click on the View Resources button and download the file, the zip file that appears on the far right. Now, just a few more words. I have a long background, a long history in PLS path modeling. I started using it in 2001 maybe even sooner than that. Um, I'm good friends with the creators of Smart PLS software, uh, Christian Ringel and his, his colleagues. I've created my own PLS software, uh, PLS GUI, that's on the web. I know Jorg Hensler quite well, and I'm very familiar and use his Adanko composite modeling software. I know Ned Koch very well, or pretty well, and I've used Warp PLS for a number of years. So I, I have a background doing this. I've written, I've used it in my research to analyze my data, and I've written a number of, of papers that have been published about it, which you'll you'll find in the in the readings. So what else can I say? This course is conceptual. I cover the basics. We look at what is PLS path modeling? We look at the motiv motivations and the rationale for using PLS path modeling as an alternative to the perhaps more rigorous covariance-based structural equation modeling. We examine the nature of the models themselves, that is, the distinctions between the measurement models and the structural models. We um, talk about, we cover quite extensively the differences between uh, formative constructs and reflective constructs. We look at how you assess the reliability and validity of the estimated parameters when you use PLS path modeling software. How do you establish validity and reliability? We have quite a bit of instruction on bootstrapping, which actually is just a broad resampling technique, bootstrapping and jackknifing, how they work in PLS path modeling specifically to establish the uh, so-called significance levels of all of the estimated parameters, not just the path coefficients and the weights and loadings, but every number that you see printed out on a PLS uh, algorithm output is is an estimated parameter. Uh, we cover the nature of the exact um, the the specific uh, calculation algorithm that is followed by the PLS algorithm. How does it work? It's a four stage algorithm, and we look at each of the four stages in some detail and how they calculate. With, a, with an extended example. We um, look at the nature of indirect effects, 
direct effects, total effects, different ways to estimate them. We cover how you estimate mediating effects and moderating effects in, in some detail with examples. Now, this course is basically a conceptual course. Uh, that is, there's quite a, quite a bit of me talking at slides. However, there is some output to illustrate examples for some of these algorithms. The output is Smart PLS 2.0. Um, you don't need any software for this course. Everything that you need, all of the materials are included. As, as I mentioned before, at the beginning of each section in the first video under the View Resources button. If you have any questions, message me or email me and I'm, I'm happy to respond. Thank you again for taking my course. Have a good day.